Hello and welcome back to InfoSec Patch Channel. In today's lecture, what we're going to be doing is installing, configuring Eve and G in VMware Workstation. This was a special request, so I want to get cracking on this this evening. And before we get before we get into that, I'll give you a little bit of a background what it is. It's an emulator that we can emulate networks, right? If you want to have a Palo Alto lab, you can actually emulate Palo Alto's. If you want to have a Cisco lab, you can emulate Cisco iOS images and all these cool things. Um, but today's lecture is just going to get it installed and configured. I'm not going to upload any images. I'm just going to have you guys install it today. So let's get cracking. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. It shows the support from me and I really appreciate it. So let's get started. Welcome back. So in today's lecture, what we're going to be doing is setting up EVNG in VMware Workstation. I want to show you where to download the links, get the, uh, get the OVA file, and get it installed and set up and give you all the information that you need to get this lab created. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to go to the downloads page, okay? So this is where, and you can just Google, I'll, I'll show you how I got it. Just Google uh, EVNG download. And then you can just hit download. And what I got today, uh, there's a pro version and I downloaded just a free community version. And you just hit mirror, uh, mega or you know Google mirror. I got it from the mega. And you can see here, this is, the, this is the OVA file. So once it's downloaded, you'll see the, you, and you'll see the actual uh, image file. All you can do is double click on it. Once you double click on it, it would open in uh, VMware, right? So you can just, I wanna, I wanna leave it as defaults. I'm actually gonna leave this all as defaults today. Okay, so Eve, I'm just, all right, I'll, maybe I'll just change this to Eve and G. Okay, so we can import this file. Let that import, and that'll take a few minutes. And this will give the configuration for that image, for that VM. Um, you know, we can set up the network configuration, we can do NAT, we can do bridge, so we can bridge to our, uh, our local subnet. So say, for example, your home router is 192.168.1.1 for your gateway, and your DHCP is .1.100 to 254 because you're in a slash 24 subnet probably at home. So this would be configured within that nested network or within that home network. Um, so let's check this configuration out. So now we're on the EVNG. We can click on um, the settings. See, we're gonna have these bridge. So say in my subnet, I want, if I do an IP config, I have 192.168.50. This is my IP address for my local. So when I boot this up, this should pull DHCP from my local router on this subnet. You've probably seen previous videos with 192.168.200 and 172.16. These are all host only IP subnets that are created in my VM net, my VM networks. Okay, but I'm gonna bridge this, so uh, let's get started with deploying this bad boy. Okay, so hit okay, this is all fine. I, I'm just gonna leave everything as defaults. And let's power it up. Now we're gonna power it up, and once, we, uh, once we're able to get the login screen, the default login for EVNG is root, and then the password is eve, E-V-E. -E. And then once you log in, you, we should get right here. We should get prompted to change it. So ignore that IP address right now, that 192.168, that's 90.50, ignore that for now. But we're gonna go ahead and log in, root, and the password is EVE, enter. Now it's asking us to create a root password, okay? So I'm gonna create my root password. 
I'm going to type that in one more time. You're not going to actually see anything on the screen, so don't get confused. Just type it twice and you should be okay. Enter. This is my host name, so I'm just going to put dash infosecpat. Okay. I'm just going to leave this all defaults for now. DHCP is fine. This is what I mean. This is going to pull a DHCP IP address from my local 192.168.50 subnet. Okay. That's fine. The NTP server, I can leave it as default. Directly connected, I don't have any proxies in between. And let that, uh, let that reboot. Once it comes up, we should pull an IP address from that 192.168.50 IP subnet. Okay, let's give that a second. And we're gonna log into here. And then I wanna show you guys how to log into the actual, um, the web GUI and then how to gracefully shut this down when you're done with it, okay? See, now we're back here. We have 192.168.50.198, okay? So now if we put root, whoops, I can spell, root, and then my password, the one I just changed, okay? Now we're in, right? So now let's make sure we can get to the internet, okay? Let's ping 8.8. That's Google. I'm pinging. Let's see if DNS is working. Boom. So we are working. Perfecto. So now if we do an if config in here, we can see all the IP um, uh, network interfaces. So if I was to take a guess, it would be PNET1. Uh, maybe PNET. Let me just do. Let me just do IP address. Uh, I'm not sure what interface it's on because obviously I can't scroll. But I know the IP address is. Let's exit out of here. Whoops. Let's type exit. And we're gonna try to log in to the GUI at this point. So we're gonna go to 192.168.50.198. Okay. To so, one nine two one sixty eight dot fifty dot one ninety eight. Now this is the this is the the GUI, and this actually the the username and password for here is different. It's not root. It's actually admin, and then Eve, and then native uh, a native console is fine. Okay, so now we're in this. Uh, now we're in the actual file manager. This is where we'll we'll add different. Um, images, we'll set up our topologies, and we'll do all that cool stuff. So that's pretty much sums it up how to get it, get the image, download it, install it. It's a very simple process. So if you want to monitor the status of this machine, we can go to system, system status, and this will give us the CPU utilization, the memory utilization, the swap, the disk, Obviously, we don't have any VMs running at this point or any images, so I was hoping that we don't have any load. Any load. Uh, the memory, obviously, we're running the, the Linux, you know, the actual Ubuntu. I, I, I think it's running on Ubuntu. Um, so that's pretty much that. Uh, that's, I think, sums it up. Let's see. Let's just poke around a little bit. Let's go to about. Oh, that'll just bring us to the... Go to system logs, this will you know, show us the system log that we're logging in from my local machine. And this is, this is the IP address. This is pretty much like uh, yeah, a basic log file. Uh, let's go see if we can go to management, user management. Uh, this is this, this. Let's go back to main. Maybe go to information. No, main, management. Let's go to user management. I'm just poking around because I haven't really played much with this myself. Uh, we don't want to touch anything in there. Uh, let's go back home. Admin. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I think that should sum up the video. And now let's go ahead and gracefully shut this guy down. Say when you're done with it, you want to shut it off. Um, we can go back to the VM. We'll log back in as root and as the password that we change it to. And then we can do shutdown. This is pretty much a basic Linux command as well. If you're a Linux person, you shouldn't, you know, you'll know this. 
h for halt and then now and that'll shut down that machine so that pretty much sums it up it's a very very easy installation and it was a uh, super simple and next what we can try to do is install some images and get some some networks built out but I'm gonna to have to play around with that tinker with it and make some videos on that so I hope this helps you get your EVNG set up inside VMware workstation and that's pretty much it so hopefully everyone having a beautiful evening a beautiful day whenever you guys watch this video and please like subscribe share with your friends and family and if you guys want to have any other video requests, go ahead and shoot it to me, to my social media. Everything is down below. Please comment. That means a lot to me. And we'll go from there. Everyone, have a good day. And thank you for visiting InfoSec Path. Cheers, man.